Hey everybody, uh, it's almost Clary's birthday, which is this Sunday, so for this year I decided uh, to get her a birthday cake box uh, mix, this is it, uh, as well as this uh, bone shaped baking tray, so she'll be having her a uh, peanut butter flavored bone shaped birthday cake, so let's go and bake it. So the first thing to do is to get your oven preheating to 350 degrees. And while that's preheating, you can add in the cake mix into the mixing bowl. Next up, you'll need water, two thirds of a cup. After that, there uh, will be uh, two tablespoons of vegetable oil. This is actually canola oil, but I have used the two interchangeably multiple times, and it's never made any difference whatsoever. Finally, you'll need to put one egg into the mixing bowl. Once you have that in, it'll be time to mix it all up. As you've seen me do many times when I have uh, done any sort of cake baking or anything involving a mixer, I always like to scrape down the sides of the bowl so I can make sure that all of the ingredients are mixed in well. So now with that done, I'll turn it on one more time to make sure everything is thoroughly mixed. Put all of that in the uh, in this bone shaped uh, baking tray, I'm going to first spray it with non stick cooking so spray to hopefully prevent it sticking entirely. So now that I have that sprayed, and I'll be pouring the batter into this, and also I'll be cutting the camera right here to be able to scrape out the entirety of the mixture in the bowl. So I have all of the cake. So with that done, here's a quick cooking tip. If you use a spatula like this one or whatever, when you're getting a mixture out of a bowl, you can get out pretty much everything or awfully close to it. So while the oven is finishing preheating, I thought I would encourage you all to like this video if you're liking it, as well as subscribe. If the subscriber count should be 1,000 by tomorrow, June 4th, I will be streaming live at Clary's present opening. If not, then it will go up as a video either Sunday or Monday. So I do have this on a pizza pan simply because the bone silicone pan is rather flimsy and I would certainly be sick if I was to throw everything into the floor. So now with it in the oven, I'll be setting the timer for 20 minutes and if it comes out after 20 minutes and I do put it in a toothpick and it comes out clean, uh, then it'll be done. If not, then I'll bake it for another few minutes. Also, it's rather nice that this box mix also came with a free icing included. Uh, so I will be making that once the cake is finished and cooled. So now that the cake is done, which took 24 minutes to bake, I'm now going to be moving on to making the icing. And the instructions on the box are very simple. You just pour in the package of icing mix. And then you add two tablespoons of water. And then you whisk it up. And if more water is necessary, you just add a little bit more at a time. You don't want to add too much. Otherwise, it would make your icing too thin. And then you'd have to do something to try to thicken it. So here's what the icing looks like when it's all mixed up. I will be putting it on once the cake is cool in a while and also I will be trying to get the cake out of the silicone pan if I cannot do so without risking tearing it up and I'll just have to leave it in here. Also, if you get your dog one of these cake mixes uh, then you might need to get two if you want to get the 
whole tray filled up rather than just half like this is but this will work for me so here i am icing the cake once it's cooled down it came out of the silicone pan extremely easily all i had to do was just bend the pan a little bit and i was able to easily lift it out with my hand no damage done whatsoever so here's what the cake looks like iced and with the two candle on so here's clary with her first piece i'll probably just record her this time for change since it is her birthday and all however lucy will almost certainly have a piece as well in the future and with that thank you all so much for watching her birthday present video will be going up sunday or monday unless again a thousand subscribers is reached in which case it will be live stream saturday have a good day and i'll see you soon bye bye